So, uh, Linux gamers, that sounds really cringy, but, uh, I have some exciting news that I, I, I just found out, like, half an hour ago, 20 minutes ago, and I wanted to make a video on it. Valve, Valve, this is gonna, this is gonna pertain to Linux in a minute. Valve is making a handheld. Now, we, now, there have been rumors and everything, but what we ha but what I was reading, if I go down here, Steam OS. This thing is going to be running on Linux, and we're using Proton. The reason this is so exciting is that games, right now, you go to Steam. Am I? Fuck, I'm not on the full screen mode. Give me one minute. Entire screen. Alright, we go to Steam right now. Um, and we look at the games. Right now, I have a few games that won't run on Linux, like uh, uh, Apex or I wanted to try it Spellbreak because a friend recommended it, but uh, I couldn't play them. And there, are, there are also other games, but mostly online games that won't let you play on uh, on Linux because the anti cheat system kicks you out. Uh, it's really annoying. Apex in particular because it fucking murders you. Anyways, with this new, uh, with this, with the new, what is it called, what are they calling it, no, they haven't named it, with the new handheld that Valve is making, and it's going to be running on Linux, so, this reason is, it's going to, for, if this does well, if this, if this, cons if this, uh, handheld does well, and it sells, this is going to make developers and studios and, and, uh, Yes, companies is that make games like uh, EA is gonna have to for or is EA run it no it's I forget I forget it starts with an R. Uh, it's gonna be, if it, this does well, it's gonna force developers and and be, and uh, companies to make sure that their games run on Linux or that their anti cheat system doesn't kick us out. And this is amazing news, like. There are a lot of games right now that don't run on Linux, and this is gonna be this thing is gonna be running on Linux, so it only allow it only run games that allow it that allow on regular. Like let's say let's say let's say where'd I see it? Where'd I see it? Oh, it also you can also limit the FPS to thirty. You can like have there are also settings to limit FPS and everything, which I find very very cool. I think this is gonna be way better than the Nintendo Switch. It's like that's gonna be, we don't know a lot about it, but it, it's uh, it, it might be too good to be true. But right now, there's a lot of compatibility. There's we have U we have Ethernet, we have USB, we have Bluetooth audio, which is something that Switch doesn't fucking have. Anyways, it's gonna be running on Linux with Proton, and Proton does allow a lot of games to run on Linux. Yeah, no, but the problem with Proton is is that there's the anti cheat system thinks that Proton or something on, on Linux systems is cheating and it won't let us play games, a lot of games. And this will force them, if this does well, if this if this uh, handheld does well, which I hope it does, as it's a little, it's expensive, it starts at 400 but I see why, because it's, the, the, it's amazing how it's... I just can't wait for it to come out. If it does well, it's going to force developers to either uh, change and their for online games are going to change their anti cheat system to run on Linux, and for offline games, it'll make it'll make a uh, hopefully they'll make native games. Like there are some games that you can run on Proton, but it's kind of it's really bad. It's really bad. Let me let me find one. What's that? Hitman, Hitman Three. I think I have a demo of Hitman Three somewhere. I f I fucking have no idea. Hitman. I have the free trial of Hitman 3. And it does, it runs with Proton, but the problem is, is that it, I really, and this isn't my uh, computer's problem, it is this system where it Proton doesn't let it run well enough. It's not native. It runs okay, but the graphics and everything are kind of bad, and I have a really good system. I, I have really good specs and everything. It still runs bad, but in games like this, offline games or online games are gonna are gonna be. If it does well, they're gonna be forced to upgrade and make Linux ports or at least change their anti cheat system. Which I'm really happy that they're gonna be. If if this happens, I'm gonna. It's gonna be amazing.
Linux gamers will finally it, it might go we we're gonna go mainstream in a lot of games where they might they might get native ports a lot of new games might get native ports because they want to be on the system they want to run on the system and i'm really excited now some people might say that they won't have any incentive because uh uh you know you can play the games on your pc in the same account but there are a lot of uh you see how well the switch did yeah, that doesn't run a PC, but the thing is, is that people are going to be more incentivized to play games on on this because you can go anywhere. It's a handheld. It runs 60 FPS. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And it's going to be really well if, you, if companies are going to want to change it so that it runs well. Uh, a good game that runs well, it doesn't even have a native port. I, I don't think it has a native port, but uh, Ghost Runner runs really well. Oh, that, that's just from a side tension, but... uh. So this will run really well. It'll run better on here than on the fucking Switch. It's played the fucking demo version. It's a piece of shit. This is this is literally the this is what we should have gotten from Nintendo. This I would have four hundred dollars, but this thing is good. I I'm probably if I buy it, I I don't know if I might, but uh, it has. I don't care about storage tiers really because I can just get a micro SD card. Alright, and I can plug in a micro SD card and just give it more storage, so I'm not probably not going to pay for more, which is nice. But, uh, let's see, 720p, that's kind of expected. 4K, I didn't really expect. But you can change the settings to 30 FPS, or I'm guessing 60 on some games. There might be 60. Like the, So I'm guessing on, on Portal 2, there's going to be possible you can run... 60 fps but it'll probably last uh less it doesn't say right out that you can have 60 but it does say that you can change it to 30 which is kind of giving off that there are other versions that don't but yeah it's it's doing there's also a five five dollar oh you can reserve it cool oh friday that's tomorrow uh i'm really excited for this because it's going to be a way ver better version than the than the switch <laughs> and you'll be able to run games that you already have in your PC. It's gonna be, it's, I'm get hopefully, uh, I'm, this would be stupid if they didn't, but it's, you're gonna be linking it to your account, so you just link it to your account. All your Steam games are gonna be running on this. It's amazing. I don't, is this a touchpad? I, I wanna see, wait. I haven't, like, looked at the controllers, but let's see. Oh, it's a trackpad, okay. Or is it spe oh, there's even speakers on it. This thing is amazing. Touch screen also. Oh, there's mics and everything. Okay, I can I understand the four hundred dollar price tag because l look at how, how good it is. There's a Type C port on it. Nice. It looks a little big. How how big is this? It says it has a seven inch touch screen. All right, this thing is gonna be big because. All right, let me. How big is the Switch touch screen? Let me. Uh, measure really quickly. It's about six inches. Yeah, six. So this thing is gonna be big. It's gonna be way bigger than the switch. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is my take on the new. I wanted to get it out before I just saw it. I want to get it out before anybody else does. Um, yeah, it's my take on it. I might get and make another video in case uh, there's more. Oh, and it also supports web browsing. There's probably a feature that supports web browsing, which you can't. Well, you can on Switch. You have to change your DNS for Switch, but it's gonna be. It's gonna have a native web browsing. And you can also you can live you can live not live stream, but like you can stream games onto it with uh. Steam, I think it's called Steam Play. I don't use Steam Play, but uh, you can you can do that, which is amazing. I oh my god! I why well, did not see that? It's right here on the screen. Steam. Oh, it's called the Steam Deck. Okay. There's also there's also a dock that doesn't come with it. I think you can buy it separately, but you don't need the dock to uh, to plug it into the monitor. You can just plug it in with a USB or USB C. I forget. You can just plug it in. You don't need the dock, which is really nice. For the Switch, you need the dock. Uh, yeah. Fully fledged deck comes with. Ethernet it comes with Ethernet, which I love. I really want that. Uh, new Steam OS. Hopefully, Steam OS runs well. Uh, I like I like how it's running on Linux. Hopefully, it runs well because games do run well on Linux. And hopefully, 
uh, it, it does say that it does use Proton, which, uh, but hopefully developers do port them so that you doesn't because uh, native games do run w better than Proton. Proton runs good, but some games do will run better if they are natively made, which I hope they do. But yeah, it's gonna be nice. It's it's gonna be a Linux. It's gonna be a Linux handheld. It says uh, emulate Steam app. Oh, you can chat with people and everything, which <laughs> you can't do that on Switch. Cloud save support. Oh, you don't even you don't even have to pay for cloud save support. Nintendo's if this does sell well, Nintendo's gonna be <laughs> Nintendo's gonna be fucked, dude. Because this is like four times better than the Switch. If this is true, it might be too good to be true. Don't forget, they might just not. But th how long has this been in development? It doesn't say, but I'm guessing it's been in development for a while. But yeah, I'm hoping this this comes out. I think it said it comes out. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. 2022 so it'll be december so it'll come out uh december this year and you can you can reserve it if you want i might not but hopefully hopefully it does well because i really hope that you we get a lot of link sports because of this hopefully developers will see uh, that linux sports because right now they don't have really any incentive linux isn't uh used a lot or gaming like Linux users do use Steam, but it's not like there's like 50 million Linux users. But with this, we might get developers will finally have an incentive to port games to Linux. It's amazing. Hopefully, and this will give uh, anti cheat softwares hopefully the uh, the incentives to change their software so that they can let us Linux players because uh, early. Uh, I forget which one it is, but easy anti cheat or one or one of those. Or a lot of anti cheats don't let you uh, Linux players play, which I'm kind of annoyed. This is going on a really big tangent. I keep repeating stuff, but uh, I'm just really excited for this. It's four hundred dollars for entry. Uh, fifty more comes in just fifty more expensive than the OLED. Yeah, so I'm not gonna buy the OLED. This it's, it's literally it's shit. Valve is Valve is literally just made. Is, is made the best thing that they could have done. Hopefully, it, this works. Hopefully, it, this sells well. I'm, I might buy it if I save enough money and I, this channel does well. I don't know. But uh, if I make any money off this channel, uh, by the time this thing comes out, I will probably do a review on it because I'm really excited and hopefully it runs games well. I'm not expecting it to run fucking really really well like uh shaders i don't know shaders games but you know what i mean uh i just hope it, it it'll run well and native games will run really well and everything it's gonna be great i cannot wait for this and the thing is is that not only will it run games but since it's using it, it since anything in steam you'll be able to run the these work oh what do i call them Kind of, uh, art, not art, but like, just, there's a category for this. Just apps, just other apps that you can draw and, and make 3D and stuff and render and stuff. You know what I mean, I'm showing you, hopefully I'm fucking showing the screen, yeah. Uh, yeah, you'll run everything, Muck does, for, Muck, uh, I made a video on Muck, that's my biggest video. But yeah, it's like tangent, everything is, I can't wait. Dude, this is, this is like, fu if this all turns to be true, which I hope it does, it might, it might be too good to be true, but if this is all true, and Valve is doing all of this and it does well, this is going to be like 10 times better, or 50 times better than the Switch, because the Switch Compared to, if this is all true, and you're comparing it to the Switch, the Switch is literally shit. It's the shit compared to this. Now, we don't know if this is real. We don't, we don't, I, I, I mean, like, if it runs that well, hopefully it does. I'm really excited. Yes, it's, developers will be incentivized to make Linux ports now. And when this comes out, if it does well. Keyword, if it does well. But yeah, it's, I cannot wait. I, I really cannot wait. So yeah, that's uh, really it. Uh, sub if you liked it, and yeah, fuck. Hopefully you didn't hear that. Something fell off my my things uh, off my desk. So yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, 
uh, comment if you want. I'll probably make, I'll probably respond to any comments and questions about this because I will I will be reviewing this. So uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, so if you liked, and th bye.